Fortnite squad. Welcome guys. Remember to use code RRFETCH in the item shop for ultimate good luck this season. Wow! What's going on? It's your boy Farfetch here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three ways you can retake or like regain high ground from your um, opponents when 1v1 in, um, even in public games or anything of that sort. Um, these three methods are very easy. You just got to learn to them, learn them, I guess, and just keep practicing them. People are definitely sleeping on them and not like utilizing them. So, thought I'd just make this video on them. Okay, guys, we're going to get into the first method, and I'll just I'll show you in fast, like just fast now, and then I'll slow it down for you and this work for it. This is guy this is what it looks like. It looks pretty fancy to be honest. I'm gonna be playing it right now in slow motion, exactly what I just did right there. As you guys can see, it's actually pretty cool. So it's not really special at all. What you guys wanna do is just like build up like you would usually. Just say like for example you might have done this. You might have lost high ground, for example, when you um, wanna be like doing this, you drop it there, um, pyramid, and where they may think you're gonna edit out like so or like they're gonna be waiting for you at high ground to edit out. That's when you wanna utilize this method, you wanna place it there. Jump to the side here, catch yourself, and then just continuously like build your, build your way back up and then regain that high ground. The way I would use this is um, don't overuse it when you're 1v1 in. So, um, like, probably I switch it up, do that, and then on your next one, as I'm gonna believe you're gonna do that again, that's where you then wanna utilize this and just um, bring it in because you don't always have to, to use it. It's just an alternative and um, could catch your opponent off guard. So another way to do this, and it's like this is the second method, and it's more advanced, I guess. What you guys want to do is this. So guys, what I did right there is basically it's, it's virtually the same. It's just adding to it. So what you guys want to do the basic jump to the side but what you guys want to do here instead of placing one out and then doing the 90s what you guys want to do instead when you hop out to the side here you want to go like this and then place up like so place a pyramid there and there just and then you want to come here edit like that edit the pyramid like so jump back and then edit again and then you guys can work your way back up it's just an event like to get in the high ground that would probably be better to you do at the start of a game but yeah i'll play it so much right now that it's just generally advancing on what we just shown you as you guys can see, it's fairly, fairly good. Another thing you guys could do is this. It, it's uh, actually like you got it. It's, it's that simple. Like you can add to it and obviously utilize any other methods. But that's how I would usually do it. But if you guys like, I don't know if you guys saw how simple that was. What you're gonna do? You can either do double or you can just um, place a single pyramid. It depends on what you're comfortable with. So um, it's anyone can do this at any level. You wanna just place that there. Jump, come here. Make sure you get the, them um, like roofs above you after you do it. So like this. You can now um, and then like edit that, and then you can obviously bring in whatever you want to do. So this is something you'd probably do mid game when you're just trying to regain the high ground. You just lost your high ground, for example. You can throw in a double ninety like so, and then you want to just drop that there. Come up here because they're gonna think obviously you're gonna edit, and then you can work your way back to the high ground. So yeah guys, um, that's all I really want to show you guys in this video, just these quick methods of um, basically obtaining high ground in a Fortnite. It's all down to you and your personal preference of where you want to utilize these when you're actually like, building. But I would recommend doing, for example, this one. You can drop that right at the start and it's um, like good high ground, I guess. It's going to check out your opponents where, like, where you'd usually, at the start of a um, 1v1, do this, which is sort of ineffective now as... If you just don't make it in time, they're then gonna they're gonna then like pyramid you, which then puts you at a disadvantage. But then again, if they pyramid you, this way you can then utilize that, and then you can maybe do something like this, and then just work your way to the high ground. Depends how you guys want to use it. I ain't telling you how you guys have to use it particularly, but this is just it's just things you can do to improve your performance in one v ones or public games. Anyway guys, I'll just quickly show you guys this. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, that I mean, would if you guys could drop the subscribe and help me reach that 10k goal. I really want to reach 10k soon. That'd be just amazing to see 10,000 people subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 5k right now. Just recently hit 4k, which is it's, that's actually insane. So I want to thank you guys for all the continuous support and yeah.
Peace.